hello uh, let us consider uh, about parabolic equation now uh, this is also called as a one dimensional heat equation uh, and this method of solving is called as the explicit method okay uh, now uh, what is a parabolic equation the form is uh, this is also called as the wave equation as we have already seen uh, that uh, w by w t is equal to k into c into rho deba to u by deba x square okay now here there are two independent variables one independent variable is space that is represented by x and another independent variable is time that is represented by t so this uh, function u is nothing but uh, has two independent variable one is space and another is time okay so uh, deba to uh, deba u by deba t is equal to k by into uh, k by c into rho multiplied by deba to u by deba x square now you find that k is nothing but the thermal conductivity of material c small c is nothing but specific heat of the material rho is density of the material and uh, c square that is this k by c into rho uh, this entire term is taken as capital C square, which is also called as the deficiency of the thermal deficiency of the substance. Okay, uh, so this is something which is related to heat transfer part. Okay, so you can go to reference books to study more about it. Uh, our main objective is to uh, how to solve this kind of equation. Okay, so uh, the heat conduction equation requires approximations for the uh, second derivative in the space and the first derivative in the time that is uh, this is the second derivative in the space and dabba u by dabba t is the first derivative in the time okay so by central difference formula we can write dabba u by dabba t is equal to this okay u of i j plus 1 minus u of i j upon k and dabba to u by dabba x square is given by this central difference formula okay uh, where c square is uh, k by c rho okay uh, now uh, entire term uh, this k into c square upon h square this k multiplied by c square upon h square let that uh, term will be called as a constant which is represented by gamma okay so when you simplify this uh, equation you will find that u of i j plus 1 is gamma u of i minus 1 j plus 2 1 minus 2 gamma into u i j plus gamma into u i plus 1 j okay so uh, what exactly this is uh, if you want to uh, simply understand this uh, with the help of simple uh, uh, simple graphical explanation uh, this is something like this okay uh, uh, if you consider uh, this um, m that is a middle node then okay uh, now if you want to find out uh, uh, if you want to find out the variable uh, this is called uh, this is represented by this answer okay then you can find uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, this answer okay that is u i plus 1 uh, u i j plus 1 now uh, usually this is uh, this j is taken as a time okay in this case also the j is nothing but a time variable that is uh, let's say if you know the temperature at uh, t is equal to 0 then you need to find out uh, t at t is equal to 1 then uh, you can say that this j variable is represented by time okay so that is by u of i j plus 1 okay that is uh, at the same space after uh, one second what will be the temperature that is uh, that is something which is required okay so uh, gamma into uh, this is given by gamma into left term plus 1 minus 2 gamma into middle term plus gamma into right term okay now uh, this is uh, this actually this diagram represents the uh, single node of the system under consideration okay so this is i plus uh, this is ij and this is uh, uh, ij plus 1 this is something which is required okay so how to get this value 
uh, as per this okay this is uh, this is nothing but the re, re, uh, this i into j plus 1 is nothing but the result of this is a right hand term this is left hand term and this is the middle term okay so uh, this u i j plus 1 will be given by this a here in this case this left hand term middle term and right hand side term should be known to you in order to predict the value at t uh, at uh, i j plus 1 node okay that means uh, as we already seen that uh, usually this j uh, increment is taken as a time okay that means if you know what is the temperature at node at uh, point t is equal to 0 you need to find out uh, the temperature at uh, the same node at t is equal to 1 so let us understand it with the help of example okay so now in this example you can naturally see that uh, this uh, uh, c square is 1 because here it is directly related daba u by daba t is equal to daba 2 u by uh, daba 2 u by daba x square okay now uh, the initial conditions are given the following conditions are at x is equal to 0 x is equal to uh, and x is equal to 0 0.5 okay the, so uh, the space is divided into 0 to 0 0.5 okay uh, with the increment of 0 0.1 okay so u is equal to 1 at all values are at t is equal to 0 so uh, let us plot a table of displacement and time okay so uh, here you can see find all values of u at t is equal to 0 to t0 t is equal to 0 0.03 so let us take increment of 0 0.01 second in the time axis okay and uh, for the space the increment that is delta x is 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 okay so what is given is that uh, at uh, this uh, at uh, x is equal to 0 okay all values belong uh, are 1 okay u is equal to 1 at t is, uh, t is equal to 0 okay and at uh, between any uh, any value between t is, uh, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 0 0.5 the value of u is calculated as 2x plus 1 okay so uh, it is given by 2x plus 1 okay uh, so uh, here x is uh, 0.1 okay so usually 2 into x is 0 0.1 so 2 into 0 0.1 is 0 0.2 plus 1 is 1.2 this is how uh, this value is calculated in this table okay so uh, similarly uh, when x is equal to 0 0.2 so u will be equal to 2 into point, uh, 1 uh, 2 into 0 0.2 plus 1 that is 1.4 okay uh, similarly this 1.6 1.81 1. so this is uh, this line is uh, written okay this table is written okay and uh, what is desired is that we need to find out all these values uh, that means we need to find the temperature at different time intervals on the same node points which are uh, which are available okay like uh, there are 12 node points which are there and uh, at these 12 node, node points at uh, these three different time interval at t is equal to 0 0.01 at t is equal to 0 0.02 and at t is equal to 0 0.03 we need to find the value of temperature this is something which is required okay so uh, when this problem is given uh, by uh, by putting the va simple values uh, we could able to plot this table okay now let's go to the solution okay as uh, we have seen in the analytical solution okay uh, this uh, answer is uh, nothing but uh, given by uh, gamma into u i minus 1 that is uh, gamma into left term plus 1 minus 2 gamma into middle term plus gamma into right term okay so uh, for one uh, particular calculation that is for u1 this calculation is shown okay so uh, to find out this u1 value okay how it is being find out it is uh, mentioned here in this diagram the l is equal to 1 left hand side term is 1 here okay 
so in order to find out this u1 uh, this is the left hand side term this is a middle term this is a right hand term okay so by using the simple formula we can find out u1 okay so that u1 comes out to be 1.2 okay now similarly uh, we need to find out this u2 so this u2 is found out by this uh, 1.2 1.4 and 1.6 so uh, these three values will give you this value okay similarly 1.4 1.6 1.8 will give you 1.6 similarly 1.6 1.8 and 1 will give you this 0.8 now for next uh, that is next time instant that is uh, for t is equal to 0 0.02 naturally you again need to use these three values so 1 1.2 1.4 you will give you 1.2 1.2 1.4 1 and 1.6 will yield you 1.4 value and so on so these 12 values are calculated and all these values are interdependent that is why you need to really need to uh, uh, take these calculations uh, seriously okay now in this particular uh, case okay the h that is x increment is taken as 0.1 okay and uh, y increment that is time it is 0 0.01 that is why the gamma value is calculated here which you can find it comes as 1 okay so uh, this uh, this is nothing but some sample calculations which we have shown shown that how we have calculated this uh, row for t is equal to 0 0.01 okay and rest of the two calculations you can do by your own and uh, see this okay so this entire uh, problems comes for usually eight marks in the uh, end semester examination so best of luck uh, you try some different variations for this uh, problem of one dimensional heat transfer equation by implicit method thank you